Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tim Jones. Join me as I draw with nodes and stuff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own customized default workspace for Inkscape in a non-destructive way. So in other words, um, once you decide you want to go back to the stock version of Inkscape the way it came out of the box, you can do this with ease just by deleting the file that we're going to create now. So let me get rid of this off the screen. This is Inkscape, fresh install. No settings have been changed. No preferences have been altered. This is a completely fresh install, um, brand new today. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up Inkscape the way we want it. I'm only going to do a basic setup. Um, I can do another video if you want to see more of the way that I do things. But for now, let's press Control Shift D to bring up the document properties. Come on, there we go. And I'm going to change the background color to a 50% gray nice and border I'm gonna make that a little bit darker super I like to have the border appear on top of my drawings because I like to work within a page turn the shadow off so that's excess don't need that change units to pixels and let's see let's change size to a2, I like to work large and landscape. I'm going to change the snap, bring that down to five just so it's not annoying and snap into everything all the time. And that one, everything else can stay the way it is and come out there. Press five on the keyboard to expand the page and yeah, I don't like this down the side. Let's move that. So we go to view and custom. I'd rather have everything on the top there. And that gives me plenty of room then to put the preferences dock down the side. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So we want layers, we want fill and stroke, and we also want the align and distribute. Great, so at the moment, they're stacked on top of each other um, and I have to scroll. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack these now. So if you hover your mouse over the title bar and just pull it up, you see that it creates the dotted line. Get that in the middle, let go, and it stacks it. Grab the layers, pull it up, same, get a little box in the center, let it go, and there we are, we're stacked. And now I can just pull that down to the bottom, and we're golden, there we go. And just simply click on those to flick between them. Good stuff, all right. Um, what I normally do is I'll shrink these icons down, but I'll leave those large for the moment, just because it's easier for you guys to see. So. What we need to do now is we need to set up the way to save this. And what we need to do is open up the file explorer. This is Windows 10, by the way. And we need the little ribbon bar at the top. So if you don't know how to do that, just click on this little down triangle. It's there and where it says minimize ribbon, untick that and there's your ribbon. Okay, and then we're gonna go into view and we need to make sure that hidden items has the check mark next to it because we do need to be able to see the hidden files and folders and that will become apparent in a moment. So next thing we need to do is explore into the C drive, double click on C and go into users and then your username 
for some reason mine's been shortened to Tim Joe don't know why really weird and app data now you can see that if I take the tick out of hidden items that disappears so if you forget to do this part you'll get lost so make sure you've got hidden items ticked and click on app data then roaming and then you'll find this other Inkscape folder here click on that and there's your preferences XML so if ever you get wonky things happening with Inkscape you can delete that one restart Inkscape and it will generate a brand new one and all those wonky things will be gone so what I need to do is open up templates and what we're going to do is we're going to save this workspace into this location okay so now you know where that is so I'm going to go to file save as go to this PC C users username app data rooming Inkscape templates change the file name to default with a lowercase d so d e f a u l t and add the extension dot svg on the end okay make sure that this bar says inkscape svg and save and that's it you have now created your custom workspace one other thing I like to do is I like to set up my layers um, because I'm lazy and so what I'll do is I'll name this one as base or background whichever you want to call it but I call it base lock that one open up a new one name that reference picks Add that one, leave that one open. Open up the next one and call that rough sketch. This is just the way I work, guys. You can set things up the way you want, but this is what I do. Lock that one. One more. And we're going to do ink lines. As I said, this is just the way I work and lock with that one. So what I'm going to do is leave reference picks unlocked. So when I open up Inkscape and I import a reference image it will automatically load into the first unlocked layer which is reference picks. So again makes it nice and simple, nice and easy. Something else I like to do is add the rule of thirds lines so go into extensions, render, come across guides creator and change that to two and rule of thirds, live preview and there we go, get the rule of thirds set up, click apply and you can turn that on and off just by tapping on the ruler and those come back in but I like to have that that helps me position my artwork press 5 on the keyboard to center page up there we go so I've got my page centered I've got my layers we've got our preferences docked um, and we're good to go so I'm going to overwrite that folder that file we've just created so file save so this now becomes my default so what I'll do is close Inkscape down open Inkscape again and hopefully it should now open to our nice yep yeah, our nice shiny new customized layout brilliant excellent now let's imagine you want to go back to the stock version of Inkscape for some unknown reason why well, you would I don't know but you might let's go into 
C users username app data roaming Inkscape templates click on default delete that's gone now click on Inkscape to open it and we're back to stock so there we are you can see that creating your customized layout is completely non-destructive it doesn't harm any of the built-in templates for Inkscape and you can quickly get back to stock so if you're having any problems um, and you want to troubleshoot what it might be you're worried that it might be some preference that you've set up you can get straight back to the default uh, workspace in Inkscape no problem at all and then it's just a simple case of recreating the steps that you follow in this video well I hope you like watching that one and you've got something useful out of it and I'll see you next time thanks guys bye